Hi everyone, welcome back to Cafe Scotty. All new episodes are waiting, so please check it out. Happy Friday, everyone. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cafe Scotty. So it's been really, really long time after I posted uh, all those vlogs. So I know that most of people don't know about me yet, or even through you knew me, maybe you forgot about me by now. So I would love to introduce myself a little bit and uh, please check it out. Um, so I'm a gay man who has been to United States five times by now, and uh, I mean in the past, I mean it's been seven years after I was there last time. So well, it was back in 2012, I think. Uh, I mean when I was last time there. So it's been a long time, but I've been there five times by now, and uh, well. I've been to New York City three times by now, and uh, now it's like my second hometown, and uh, where I miss about a lot. And uh, well, um, you know, people and my friends there accepted who I was, no matter what, if I was a gay man or if I had autism like uh, Asperger's, or uh, and uh, also I have little. Uh, mental health situation like PTSD from trauma from my past so uh, people in my real hometown they don't get it and uh, they don't understand usually uh, it depends on person but uh, well it's like that but uh, in United States especially in New York City people accept who I am no matter what and they didn't they didn't see like you know I was crazy person or something like that uh, they accepted who I was so so sorry that I forgot to introduce myself first. I mean, I should mention my name first, but I'm Scotty. My name is Scotty, and uh, well, they accepted who I was, so it means uh, they accepted as Scotty. And uh, it was not like a crazy person or who has autism, you know what I mean? So I felt comfortable a lot, and uh, of course, as a gay man, it was really, really easier to live there stay there and uh, well it's good memory now and I miss there a lot I, I mean of course I do like some culture of my real hometown but uh, in same time as that I miss New York City a lot because I count there as my second hometown and uh, I even would love to count there as my real hometown you know what I mean anyways uh, I share my apartment with, apartment with my mom uh, and uh, I live with her and uh, it's nothing uh, strange here in my hometown because uh, it's really common to uh, live with share house or apartment with your parents or your family even after you know like in your 40s or 50s here so I'm in 30s so it's really really pretty common and also my mom has a little uh, health situation so but health so I I'm here to support her and help her and take care of her. In same time, in same time as that, I take care, take care of my health and uh, disability. Anyways, uh, well, I'm inter is interested in uh, Western culture a lot. In same time as uh, I love some of the culture from my hometown, and I'm actually from Japan. And uh, well, Fukuoka, Japan, and uh, Fukuoka City has partnership from last year. But uh, it was like it's like a less than domestic partnership or un civil union from past in United States. I mean, we have partnership, but uh, in their meanings, most of people don't understand gay people and uh, don't accept gay people, and they also it's nothing with law. So, uh, for example, if I want to get married with uh, someone from United States or somewhere, Europe or world, I mean foreign country, uh, I cannot do that because uh, it's nothing with law and uh, if they have visa, we can be partner, partners, but uh, if they, don't, they lose visa, then 
they have to go back to their countries. So it's it's not the same for uh, in, in civil union or domestic partnership from past in United States. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, it's not a real gay marriage, of course, and the uh, whole country ha hasn't accepted gay marriage yet either. And uh, I don't think it will be passed in my life. I mean, in our lives while we arrive, you know what I mean? People think that uh, Japan is really comfortable, comfortable place to be at for gay people and they actually take it wrong and misunderstand about that because most of people don't accept gay people here actually and uh, even understand different states of real, I mean, being gay or, you know, what they wanna do. I mean, some people misunderstand like all gay people mean like uh, they wanna dress like women here. You know what I mean? I mean, being a gay man doesn't mean we wanna dress like women. I mean, some people do, but uh, lots of gay men live as gay, I mean, as a man, as men and as a man and uh, and uh, it doesn't mean we wanna be like women. You know what I mean? We are still man, men. You know what I mean? So it's pretty late, and of course, law doesn't allow gay marriage either. And uh, well, of course, some of culture like pop culture are showing you guys like uh, we accept gay culture but it's actually not in their world in person so hope you don't take it wrong wrong about our culture i mean i don't mean to be hater or say bad about my country but uh, still we still have to move on and uh, accept more you know gay rights and human rights including human rights and everything you know what i mean so that's what I wanted to say, and uh, sorry, I, I'm a little nervous after I didn't make any b video blogs, blogs for a while, so sorry about that, I look a little tense and, uh, well, I should relax, but, uh, well, um, and sorry about my English, I usually don't have much chances to speak English, even through I stay in touch with my friends, um, especially my fr American friends and uh, Canadian friends every day on social media, so, uh, like emails too, so I type English, I write English, but uh, I don't speak English, so I'm starting to forget better English accent and words, so, and uh, sorry about that, I'm trying to uh, practice again, so hopefully I can speak better so you can hear my words each year, you know what I mean? Anyways, and uh, sorry that it was little about heavy subjects today, but uh, I wanted to introduce myself in the same time as that, I wanted to introduce about my country a little bit, but uh, yes, um, some people maybe wondered uh, where he was from, uh, last time if you checked out my blogs in the past but uh, yes I'm uh, from Japan and uh, I've been to United States and uh, I love United States and uh, Western culture even Europe I love Europe even though I have never been there yet and I would love to someday I mean I would love to go to Europe someday but uh, well it's like that and uh, also I love my family and I love my friends and uh, Friends and uh, family come first for me, so I love my mom from bottom of my heart. I adore her and I care her so much from my bottom of, bottom of my heart. And uh, same for my friends. Um, it means a lot to me. They mean a world to me. So, well, hopefully I can give you a lot of hope and also joy by my blogs. And also I hope I can catch up with you about everything, my life society, everything, entertainment too, so please check it out, keep checking out, I, I, I'm gonna appreciate about that a lot. Well, sorry about being nervous again, and uh, well, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon, see you later, bye.